which direction Sun's going to hit the serve. Well, she's going to have to work this out pretty soon because this first set is going to go... Well, how about this? How about this? A little Quang Shang, less than 20 pounds, this radio on AliExpress and Banggood, picking up shortwave radio, 21.470 megahertz on the AM band, which is Vatican Radio, shortwave radio station just outside Rome. And I am in Hertfordshire in the UK. And it's the BBC World Service currently broadcasting live coverage from Wimbledon in London. And it's picking up really, really well. Now, I've got this connected to my outdoor a CB antenna because I was actually trying to get some 11 meter CB action there wasn't that much about and I am running Exuma version uh, 0.22 on the radio so straight out of the box um, I don't suppose it would tune this high would it but it just shows you what can be done with this little radio and a mod I'm, I'm quite amazed now in Exuma unfortunately it only tunes down to 18 megahertz and most of your shortwave is probably going to be somewhere between 6 um, and 14, possibly to 16 megahertz. So it's a bit restrictive in what you can do. Although there is a little breakout board that you've probably seen on the internet. I'll get a picture up on the screen. There is a little breakout board that you can go inside and fit it. But it's so, so, so fine and, and so delicate. Uh, it involves soldering well beyond my skills. I mean, we're talking little res resistors that have to be soldered onto a board and removed, and they're about the size of a grain of salt. It's a bit beyond me. But without, without that mod, you get interference, of course. And of course, the sound doesn't sound particularly great with that tinny speaker, but it's doing the job. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. So what I'll do is I'll play this out with uh, just the radio playing and, and me not being, me not talking, which is unusual, and you, you can hear it. But Quenshang on shortwave BBC. Thumbs up from me before I go. Thank you for your view time. I do really appreciate every one of you. Stay safe catch you on the next video but here is some shortwave on the Crenshang. Court, Kanu, looking to continue her progress at this year's Wimbledon Championships. All the action from yeah. day seven will continue as Sun takes that opening game. I'm Debbie Ross with the BBC News. Hello. Officials in France say turnout in the second round of the parliamentary election is the highest in more than 40 years. The far right's National Rally Party has earned the deaths. Sebastian Usher reports. Local sources in Gaza City have told the BBC that Ehab al Ghussein, most recently Deputy Labour Minister in the Hamas administration, was the target of the strike. He was an important figure in the Hamas administration. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said many times that the aim of the war against Hamas is to destroy it politically as well as militarily. In Israel, the pressure continues to mount. On the high profile governor of Japan's capital, Tokyo, Yurike Kurike, has secured a third term in office after elections on Sunday. Declaring victory, she vowed to tackle issues such as inflation and a low birth rate. She'd faced more than 50 challenges. And, um, Will Leonardo reports. The governor of Tokyo is among the most powerful positions in Japan, controlling a budget of more than a hundred billion dollars. Over the past eight years, Unicorn Queen gave... The final stage of the tour of Austria has been cancelled and replaced with a memorial ride following the death of a Norwegian competitor who crashed during Saturday's stage. Andre Drager was fatally injured on the descent of Grossglockner, Austria's highest mountain. Fellow riders, many dressed entirely in black, displayed the 25-year-old's race number. BBC News. On radio, online and on mobile, this is Sportsback on the BBC World Service. James, welcome back to Wimbledon. We have the best seat in the house. We're on centre court watching action on day seven of the championships and we've already seen the men's defending champion, Carlos Algrath.